Hi, I'm Wolf McNally for Blockchain Commons, and I'm going to demonstrate a piece of software we have up on our GitHub account. It's open source. It's called UR Demo, and it's based on another module we have called UR Kit. UR Demo demonstrates uh, our uniform resource proposal. Uh, a uniform resource is a way of encapsulating a binary structure in a URI, a uniform resource identifier. It also is very efficient for encoding in QR codes. I'm going to show you what a UR looks like. This is a UR. It begins with a scheme, UR colon, has a type, in this case bytes, which just indicates this is a random message of bytes, and then a string of letters. Uh, they're uppercase when they appear in, in QR codes, so they conform to the QR code alphanumeric encoding method, which is very efficient. So I'm going to start by scanning this UR. I have the same app running on both devices right now, but I'm going to uh, read it on my phone. And when I read it, you see that the hash matches, which being the same message was received. Uh, now I'm going to show what's really special about URs, which is the ability to break a message up into many QR codes using what we call fountain codes or Luby transform codes. This is another random message. It's only 300 bytes long. I'm going to read it using UR demo. And as you can see, this, this bar below indicates that it's a con continuously changing mix of the four fragments that have been XORed together. Uh, and this allows the, uh, the message to be conveyed at what's called a rateless speed. You can start, you can start that was very fast. I'll show you a little bit uh, in a moment how you don't have to go that fast, but it picked it up very fast. Let's try that again. Okay, so you see the, the hash matches. Now let's actually use, let's use a much longer sequence of fragments. You see this is broken up into 100 fragments. It's still, it's a, a 10,000 byte message. So what I'm going to do is going to start scan it. And as you can see on my phone, I see an estimate of the number of the uh, progress bar is an estimate of the number of uh, QR codes I'll need to read, and you can see the fragment bar above it shows the fragments that have been fully received as well as the fragments that are coming in XORed together. If I stop, I still have, I'm still waiting to receive the rest of the message, and so I don't have to receive every QR code. In fact, many QR codes can be dropped, and I can just pick up anywhere I want and not have to receive like all 100 fragments over again. There you go, there's the same message. So that was a rather inefficient way of breaking up messages. Let's use a, a larger fragment, as you can see. It transmits each fragment fully once and then goes into sending the mix of fragments. So as you can see, this uh, relayed in about, uh, well, it took about eight seconds to do about uh, 1200 uh, bytes per second. Let's actually increase the size of our fragments now. This is another message broken up into 21 fragments. So that time we got an effective throughput of 2300 bytes per second. Let's try that 15 frames per second. So that time we had 31, it's almost 3200 bytes per second. Let's make our fragments still larger. So that time we had over 3,000 uh, bytes per second. Let's go up to 15 frames per second. Try one more time. So that time we had about 2,600 bytes per second. So it will vary depending on the resolution of the camera, the resolution of the QR code, the rate at which you show the QR codes, and the size of the screen you're showing them on. Uh, so it's up to you, the developer, to decide how to combine these things for most effective transfer of your data.